Ladies and gentlemen, today I stand before you with a heavy heart and a burdened conscience. The road that led us to this point has been long and arduous, filled with great challenges and immense sacrifices. We have fought a battle of ideologies, a war that pitted East against West, communism against democracy. And sadly today, I must deliver news that will shake the very foundations of our great nation. As President of the United States, it is my duty to act in the best interests of our people. It is my solemn responsibility to ensure that the future of our nation is safeguarded, even if the choices I make are difficult to accept. It is in this spirit that I address you today. The Cold War, as we know it, has come to an end. The Soviet Union has emerged, solidifying its grip on Eastern Europe and expanding its influence across the globe. The tide of history has turned against us, and we must face the reality that our long-held position as the world's superpower is no more. In the face of this sobering truth, I have made a decision that will forever alter the course of our nation's history. I have chosen to dissolve the United States of America. I understand the shock and disbelief that these words may elicit, but we must recognize that our beloved nation was built on the principles of freedom, liberty, and self-determination. And if we are no longer able to uphold these ideals, if we are unable to defend them against the rising tide of communism, then we must reevaluate our purpose as a nation. By dissolving the United States, we will create an opportunity for new beginnings. We will free ourselves from the burden of global responsibilities and the constant threat of nuclear annihilation. We will redefine our place in the world, focusing on rebuilding our economy, strengthening our communities, and rediscovering the core values that have made America great. This decision does not come without pain. It is a painful acknowledgement of our defeat, of the ideals we fought so valiantly for slipping from our grasp. But it is also an opportunity to heal, to regroup, and to ensure that the spirit of America lives on, even if it takes a different form. I call upon every citizen of this great nation to embrace this moment with courage and resilience. Let us not dwell on the past, but instead let us forge a new path forward. Together we can rebuild, we can reimagine, and we can reclaim the spirit that made America shine brightly throughout history. Though our nation may no longer be united as one, we can still preserve the values and principles that made us who we are. We can continue to champion freedom, liberty, and justice in our communities, in our states, and in the world at large. We can still be a beacon of hope for those who seek a better tomorrow. My fellow Americans, the road ahead will not be easy, but I have faith in the resilience of our people in their ability to adapt and overcome. Let us remember the words of our founding fathers who declared that in the face of adversity, we shall always remain one nation, indivisible. And though we may no longer be one nation, we can remain indivisible in our commitment to the values that define us. May God bless each and every one of you and may God bless this newly redefined America. Thank you and good night. Good. Thank you.